I wanted to go ahead and make this video to address some concerns on how I do get some of the frames that I do in the games that I play with my current hardware. I've had some people that have watched some videos of some games that I've played showing frame rate saying I have the same hardware, how are you getting those frames out of this? I get great frames on Battlefield 4 as you can see here and also I get similar frames in Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, so I wanted to take the time to just kind of showcase what I do within Windows to optimize it uh, to its fullest potential for me. These are the settings that I use that I think work the best. So I think everybody knows about this, but we're going to click the Start, System, Advanced System Settings, and then you can adjust the visual effects under the Performance Options. This will free up RAM. This does free up the CPU just a little bit here. I did notice some gains on this as well, so you would just basically mirror the settings I have here or you can hit custom and do what you want. Apply and OK. Just for best performance of under the advanced tab, of course select programs, apply and OK. We always want to disable unwanted startup programs, so let's go ahead and bring up the task manager. Right click on the item that you do not want to start with Windows and just click disabled. Next time you restart, it won't. So this was a big one for me. I never like seeing programs that I don't want installed on a computer, but it always happens with a fresh install. So with the pre-installed Windows programs, you can find them, right click them in the start menu and click uninstall. Also kind of the same for live tiles. If you've got something that utilizes live tile, you could just right click it and turn the live tile off. This one's already off, so it's gonna say on. There is a way to fully remove some of these programs like the Marketplace or the Xbox app using PowerShell. It's a little more advanced. If you want to see something like that, put something in the comments and I'll see if I can do a video on that as well. And everybody's done this here before, but if you have stuff on your computer that you don't need or don't use, there's no reason to have it. So just you can use the control panel to remove unwanted software from your computer altogether. And this I think everyone does, but basically Pull up the task manager again, just right clicking items and ending task on things that are running on your computer. Maybe the software's not running anymore, but the program still seems to be in the task manager. This one's a little bit more advanced. I'm sure some people have done this as well, but this one right here really did help me out. Uh, so we're gonna pull up the search, type in services, and you can arrange this by name here, alphabetical order. Find services for programs. For example, I'll use NVIDIA's Shield streaming service. I don't have Shield uh, to stream with, so I don't need that thing starting up automatically. As you can see over there to the right, it is set to automatic. You can either stop it so that it won't run on your current session, but it will start when you restart, or you can right click it, hit properties, select the startup type to manual or disabled, and it will no longer start with the computer. I set mine to manual, so that way if the program does need it for any reason, it will still start it at that point. So apply and OK. We'll do that for these services here to remove them, to set them to manual or disabled. And here's a list of services here I gathered from the website there at the bottom that you can disable, and I have noticed no bad effects on my computer from disabling every single one. But just use at your own discretion and I will leave that link in the description so you can check that out and read through that uh, so you can educate yourself on what to do there as well. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show some of the simple things that I do to free up Windows 10 and make it better uh, for gaming for me. Click a like if it helps, thumbs down if it didn't, more videos to come. I might do an SSD video on how to optimize that for Windows 10 or for gaming or whatever. Uh, I have some things that I do there too.